Freddy was a normal man, until the day he went praying in a sinister church at four in the morning, and some black slime dripped on him, merging with his body. Like any ordinary person, instead of going to the doctor, he decided to go home to agonize in his bed for a whole day, without knowing that that black goo was actually an alien symbiote that would control his entire body. So Freddy became poison. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Once again, I can't remember how my night ended. Don't even tell me you shut me off and controlled me again, Poison. Actually, you got super drunk after entering a contest to chug vodka with your eye. But yeah, I ended up dominating your body, and we did things that you would never do. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? All right, what did we do? What did we do this time, Poison? We cleaned your house. I put all that mess away, washed and dusted everything. No! Oh, I hate you, Poison. I told you so many times it's not messy. It's just my organized mess. I knew where everything was. Oh, really? Where was the vacuum cleaner? We have a vacuum cleaner? Exactly! You know nothing. We also went to that Chinese grocery store that is open late and bought real food for this house. No more diarrhea every day. I will not let you keep controlling my life! I will not live like this! Yeah, that's what you told your ex, but I already called her to apologize. And since I was already on the phone, I also re-enrolled you in college and sent out some resumes. I didn't want to apologize to Louisa! She would make me shower in the morning and evening, even though I hadn't even sweated during the day. It doesn't make any sense! And I'm not emotionally prepared to go back to college! Oh yeah? You could tell that to your mother on Saturday, then. She's coming to lunch with your brother. We're going to make lasagna for them. Damn you! I hate you with all my heart, Poison! And so, Freddy kept hating his life and all that Poison did to it while he ruled his body. With this, he got a master's degree in journalism and became the pride and joy of his family.